Hi, let's talk about why narcissists act the way they do. Why do they do it? What is up with that? I am Lise Colucci and I'm a life coach here to help you with everything related to recovering from toxic relationships. So let's just jump in and talk about why narcissists behave the way they do. So one of the main reasons is the grandiosity of the way they perceive their own self, their ego, and their inflated sense of grandiosity. So if they're functioning from a place of feeling like they're better than others and truly believing that the delusion of whatever their ego is telling them that they are is real, then of course they look down on other people, right? Of course they are devaluing because no one can meet the expectations of someone who is so grand. They crave the power and control that comes from manipulating other people. It's all about the win and them staying above others. And so they're, they're craving the power and the intention and the control that comes from that. Basically, it helps them remain in charge of what other people think of them. It helps them control the narrative, control the way people see who they are and the way other people act around them based on that. It's said that toxic shame rules their inner world, but what overshadows that is their ego. So if they are coming from a place of toxic shame where they are feeling self-shame, but they're a person that doesn't have empathy for others, they're going to force other people to pay the price for the fact that they feel certain things about themselves. Another reason they act how they act is simply entitlement. They feel like they deserve everything going toward them. They are entitled and disregarding and all of that, all of that masks their shame that they might feel, their inferiority that they might feel, any vulnerability that they might feel, it masks it all. And they, they hide behind this, this entitlement and self-protective world of the delusion of their, in their superiority. Okay, here's a big one. The reason they act how they act the reason they don't take accountability, the reason they're always deflecting, diverting, devaluing, and all of the other stuff that they do to create this toxic world that you share with them is their lack of empathy. They lack empathy beyond the cognitive awareness of empathy, beyond cognitive empathy, beyond recognizing someone is having an emotion. They lack any feeling or any connection beyond that and in fact are quite annoyed most of the time that the other person is having a feeling or a reaction that is not the feeling or reaction they're projecting onto the situation that they wish to see or they're getting a rise out of it and getting supply from the reaction that they have manipulated the person into feeling so the lack of empathy is the number one reason they act the way they act. It's the number one reason when people say, why, how could they do this? How can another human being treat a person like this? How can you treat someone you love like this? How, how is that even possible? Take empathy out of the equation. Take caring what the other person thinks. Imagine, imagine you're looking at a cardboard box. Okay, and you draw a face on it. Don't even, and then like kind of turn the face away so you can't even really look it in the eyes. All right. And imagine that cardboard box says, I'm sad because you're doing this thing and it's really hurtful. I'm sad that you cheated on me with the other cardboard box, <laughs> whatever, right? Imagine that this is a sad box, but like for real, look at the box. It's just a box, guys. Don't personify it. Don't think, well, if it was a person, I'd feel this. It literally is just a box, okay? Imagine that th this box has, and do you care? No, it's a box. You throw it in the recycling bin, right? It's a box. That's how they see us. They see us, other human beings, as disposable, as not as important as themselves, and also as self-centered as they are. They believe that everyone thinks the way they think, and when they see people that don't, they think you're inferior because you don't. They lack boundaries. They lack boundaries because they're always pushing for their way. They're always pushing to be in charge. They're always, or to make you in charge if they are the lazy type that needs other people to do everything for them, right? But they're always pushing to control the situation. And the only way to control a situation is to have no boundaries with other people and to 
have no allowance of other people's boundaries. There's defensiveness that comes in. See, they're protecting the lies. They're protecting the ego. They're protecting the mask that they're wearing and the presentation of who they are that they want you to believe they are, not who they really are. They're protecting, protecting, protecting. They are living multiple lives sometimes with all the lies they tell and all the people they cheat with and all the people, all the, you know, all of it. So all of this creates defensiveness because the only way to protect all that is to feel like everyone's against you, to feel like like it's your way or no other way, because how can you manipulate a lie if somebody's questioning it? How can you do the things they do without a defensiveness? They would have to be there. They have contempt, they have envy, they project all of their toxic feelings that they have about themselves or things that have happened to them or any traumas that they might experience onto other people. And instead of projecting it onto other people and then working to heal it, they project, not that you should ever project that onto other people, they project it onto other people so that you carry the burden of it, so that you're there trying to fix everything. You're there trying to make it better. You're walking on eggshells, you're tippy toeing around, and you're never dealing with the issue. You're never dealing with what is it that you're so upset about? It's not that. It's not you, you're not dealing with a real person. You're dealing with the projection of something that someone else has shoved way back behind their ego and it can only hold so long it comes out in the form of projection onto you and you're left carrying it so all of that's to say they lack accountability they lack accountability for anything they do because of all of this so the reason they lack accountability i've just answered a lot of it okay and also the fact that they lack accountability means that they are going to continue to hold that as its own lie and its own defensiveness, right? So that they don't ever have to change because why should they, as we said in the very beginning of this, they are far superior, at least in their minds. So there you have it. Some of the reasons why narcissists act the way they do. I am Lise Colucci. If you need any help, any coaching or any group coaching, check out the information in the main description of every video. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, share the videos, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.